Hey there guys, what's up? Okay, so I just got this bath bomb in like an hour ago. That's how excited I am to get it in the tub. This one is from Bethesda Boutique, and of course, it's a Valentine's Day bath bomb. She has these lips in a couple different colors, I think, but of course, I had to get the rainbow one because I loved all the colors. I think she has it in maybe red and pink and black. She might have it in purple, but don't quote me on that. And you can choose from a few different scents. This one is scented in cupcake. So I love the colors and the scent is really nice. So let's just get it in the tub. I've only got a little bit of daylight out. You can see I've got just a little bit of snow left, not too much. But anyway, I'm excited to get in the bath. So let's go ahead and put this in the water and see the rainbows. Ooh, look at that. So I saw her demo this on her Instagram page right when she um, announced that she had made it or that it was going to be released, and I thought it was so pretty. Ooh. Lots of colors going on there. Okay, let's just look at it from up here because I think this is the most interesting view. pop back up. I honestly expected the whole thing to just float, but you know, sometimes they don't and that's okay. Because I mean, look at that. It's still a really pretty show. All different colors going on there. was kind of the end of it right there. There are some pretty colors over there and over there. That's pretty cool looking over there. I think that's really cool bath art. Okay, again, my water is really, really hot, but let's go ahead and stir this up. So it looks to be like a really like a dark really dark green. So dang hot. There's a little color on the sides, but that looks like it's going to come right off. It doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal. I tell you what, though, I'm not sure about the scent. Initially, I smelled the cupcake scent, but it has changed a little bit. I'm not sure that I smell really cupcake anymore. I'm not sure that I can put my finger on what it is. It might just have turned kind of, I don't know, it's kind of nondescript. It's not really sweet anymore. It's not really that great of a scent anymore, to be honest, which is, surprises me. But um, on the top of the water, it looks like it's got a, it looks like it's got a good bit of oil in it. That being said too, it does feel really, really soft. So anyway, so let me back up and show you guys. The final color of this water far away. So it's like a really dark, like swamp army green color. And there's another good shot of what the top of the water looks like. So let's just go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and turn on the, the jets and see what that does too. There may not be a lot of bubbles with this because in the last video I told you guys, depending on the butters and the oils, there may not be bubbles. So anyway, let's just check it out. And I'm fine with that. Either way, it doesn't matter because I'm unfortunate enough to be able to turn bubbles or jets on or off when I want to, so that's fine with me. But I know a lot of you guys want to know if you can make bubbles on your own or not just for the bath bomb itself, so that's part of the reason why I do this. 
And plus, I like to know when I get in there, if I turn them on, if I just need to not turn them on because I'm gonna be totally enveloped with bubbles, or if I can just leave them on and just have a nice bath and just get a little bit of froth on the top. Okay, so it doesn't really look like it's gonna have more than this. So that's just a little bit, kind of like froth, bubbly froth on the top. All right, guys, so I am gonna hop in the shower and I'll let you guys know how it was, how the scent was, and how it felt as far as the top of the water having all the kind of oily looking, um, a little bit of surface on when I get out. Okay, I'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, so my rainbow big kiss bath from Bethesda Boutique is all done. And so, okay, there's just a little bit of like a bath bomb uh, ingredient, I guess, left down at the bottom. It didn't make a mess at all. You can tell though, like down at the bottom, there is still like some oil. I think it's coconut oil and maybe arrowroot oil, if that's a thing, if I remember reading that right on the package, um, maybe in there. Um, okay, so this is what I thought about this bath bomb. Um, it did have a lot of oil in it. So if you like bath oil, if you put any kind of bath oil in your bath, you will like this bath bomb. I was surprised that I did not feel like there was too much oil in there. I don't feel um, greasy or oily. I do just feel soft. So that did surprise me. Um, I thought it was really pretty on top of the water. I wasn't crazy about the color, but that's not really that big of a deal. The only thing that wasn't for me was the scent. I was a little surprised that it didn't smell more like the traditional or like really sweet uh, cupcake type of fragrance. But now let me just kind of qualify that with saying these reviews, if you want to call them that, um, they're totally subjective. They're totally subjective. So when you watch my demos or listen to my reviews, just kind of watch them and just kind of form your own opinion by what you like and what you see. So definitely go ahead and check her out. Um, I think she's a great lady. Ashley, she owns Bethesda Boutique. I think she makes great bath bombs. So if I don't personally like a scent or maybe necessarily a color is not my favorite or whatever that just really, you know, chalk that up to what my personal preference is. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye.